two years ago in the state of Kansas, an abortion doctor named George Tiller was murdered by an anti-abortion fanatic. The killer is now in prison. But I just want to state how utterly absurd that situation was. Anybody who believes that abortion is murder, but himself murders a living human being that's already born, is the ultimate hypocrite. The entire anti-abortion movement is riddled with hypocrisy. No one says that abortion is a good thing. Certainly I don't. But unfortunately, it is a necessary thing. These anti-abortion bigots who delude themselves into thinking that banning abortion will create things better for women, they're lying. All they're doing is forcing abortion underground like it was prior to 1973, the Roe v. Wade decision. And if it is not legal, and if it's not regulated by the state, it will only create more suffering for women. There's no excuse for that. I'm a man. I cannot get pregnant or get birth. So I have no right to tell a woman what to do with her body, period. Dr. Tiller was killed while he was worshiping at his own Lutheran church. How can that be justified? How ironic that this anti-abortion fanatic, who was likely a Christian himself, not only committed murder, which the Bible con explicitly condemns, but also violated the sanctuary of a church. Yes, that is hypocrisy. The anti-abortion movement needs to be focusing on eliminating the need for most abortions by helping us develop better birth control methods. Unless and until they totally focus on that and put a stop to all these immature protests about the killing of little babies in abortion clinics, they're not going to get anywhere with society. They are fighting an ultimately futile cause. We need to do more research to prevent pregnancies and ultimately eliminate abortions the right way so that no woman ever has to worry about getting pregnant when the pregnancy is not planned. Thank you.